Robert, Thank congratulations, yeah, sir. Thank you very much. So we're 70 years out from D-Day. Yeah. Do you think that... How, how do you even tell a story about World War II now that's not been told already? Well, it's a daunting task. It's taken some 17 years of interest on my part and the last 13 years full time to get my arms around it. And I've written three books now. Uh, my last book, Saving Italy, tells the story of what these monuments officers did in Italy, which is, again, another British and American operation. Um, this is not an American telling of the story. This is a, a, a remarkable success for the Western allies that helped win the war. It's just hard to believe. Uh, even still, I pinch myself that such an epic story of World War II isn't so commonly known. And that's getting ready to change, and we'll all know it. And there are going to be many more stories told about this remarkable group of men and women. Given how intimately you know the period, you know what happened, how do you feel about the changes made to make it work as a piece of cinema rather than as a book? Or I think they're absolutely acceptable changes. You made a good point earlier uh, to try and tell such a massive story in two hours. Two hours on films goes by a snap of a finger. Um, the overarching principles of the story are intact. That's what matters to me. People are going to know this is an American and British-led operation. The two monuments officers were killed during combat doing their jobs. One, uh, one British fellow, Ronald Balfour, an American, Walter Hutchhausen. Uh, that these monuments officers did something that's never been done before during war, to fight a war and protect cultural treasures at the same time. And then, in a break with civilization, give back all these five million, five million stolen objects to the countries from which they were taken. It's a high point in civilization. And God knows I know how, uh, how embarrassed I was about the United States handling of the aftermath of the looting of the museum in Iraq and Baghdad in 2003. It only took 60 years to forget all this. So that's one of the things I hope and I believe is going to happen is it's never going to be forgotten again because of this film. Marvelous. Thank you very much, yeah, sir. Thank you. Much appreciated.